Now we look forward to the testimony of the National Party and other political parties, which starts in Cape Town tomorrow. Let's move to Nels Spreit in Mpumalanga, where the Truth Commission's Amnesty Committee heard the cases of former activists across the political spectrum. One of the men who pleaded for amnesty this week was convicted right-wing murderer Hendrik Johannes Slippers. Slippers and a group of fellow AWB members fatally assaulted a black man because he dared to walk in a white suburb after dark. The political changes that took place in South Africa in 1990 had left Hendrik Slippers so disillusioned that he decided to join the Afrikaner Weerstandsbeweging. I identified myself with the objectives of the AWB and believed that they could bring about the necessary political changes. By the end of 1990, Slippers was the acting commander of the AWB in the eastern Transvaal town of Belfast. He told the Amnesty Committee how he'd received an instruction from his superiors to participate in the AWB's so-called White by Night operation. The streets of white residents would be, would be patrolled from 9 p.m. in the evening and that all blacks would be removed from the town, if not willingly, forcefully. On the 13th of February 1991, after he and another right-winger had consumed a bottle of brandy, Slippers led a patrol to enforce the White by Night curfew in Belfast. They kidnapped and assaulted George and Komane, the first black man they'd encountered that night. After we had picked up the black man, I got onto the back of the bucking. And during the transportation of the deceased out of town, he was assaulted on the back of the bucky by members of the group. After we had dropped off the deceased, he started to run back in the direction of town, which was then the white residential area of Belfast. We caught up with him and argued and the deceased was then assaulted. I started to assault him with fists where after he fell and Mr. Smith started to kick him and jump on him. No, there was no racial hatred involved because I did not know the person. It was an instruction of the AWB and I was executing an instruction. That is why this incident took place. You were there. We are not there. We are looking at the post-mortem report. It says the deceased was not just assaulted but was brutally assaulted. You agree with that? Volgens mij is het niet zo erg gelijk op het stadion. As far as I'm concerned, it didn't seem that bad at the time. If your attitude is that the deceased was not brutally assaulted, and your attitude is that you did not and could not foresee that he would die, why do you want amnesty? Slippers also told the committee that it lost his wife just weeks after the white by night murder. She died in a road accident involving a black motorist. I hope that the community, especially the family of the deceased, can forgive me for what I did to them. The same way I forgave the black man who took my wife away from me. Slippers claims he now understands the importance of racial harmony but says he feels betrayed by his beloved organization, the AWB, and his leader, Eugene Ter Blanche. As ek een ou kan kry in die gevangenis wat die AWB is, en as dit baie in die gevangenis, wat sê, die gente blans het vir hom iets gedoen, dan sal ek sê aanvat, want daar is nie enig. Daar is nie enig. Ek sal sê, enige iemand wat vandag by die AWB aansluit, om sommer recht te sê, is so ou as een voel. Hy gaan nergens kom, hy sê, al wat dag gaan gebeur, is sy familie gaan nou onderleid. Soos wat my familie daar onder geleid.
ek het alles verloor wat ek gehad het. My dochterkie was vijf weke toe ek in die tronk gekom het. Sy is nou al vijf jaar. En ek kon haar skaars gesien het in die gevangenis. So ek het alles, ek het alles verloor wat ek gehad het. 